Hi everybody, Vicky here from Tales from the Trails and today this is 3D Printmaster. It is a simulator and it, you know, gameplay review as I've done a couple of times now. We're going to use the creative mode because I'm not using career. I'm more a creative person. So we start and we have our little office. Um, you do have two rooms. You have your workshop and your office. Well, your office is your office. You find jobs, you set up your printers, as in the digital side of it. And in the workshop, you build stuff and you ship it out, essentially. You do have these blueprints found throughout your office. These are, you know, your schematics for the designs that you can 3D print. We have our little computer, which we've not got any printers at the minute. But we do have jobs coming in. These are offers from clients saying, I want you to make a butterfly. I want you to make a, a garlic clove, etc, etc. Each one has a different payout, which means you'll earn a different amount of money each time. We need to go to the store and you can buy all the bits individually if you so want. But just for this one, we are going to buy a box which has everything we need in it. We do need filament. We will always need filament. Um, different types. You've got the PLA and you've got your flexible ones as well. Here are the printer kits, so different value ones. I mean, I've got unlimited money on the sandbox mode, so it doesn't matter about the value. But the better quality of the printer, the better quality of the printer. It's more expensive. It's straightforward. So we're going to get that one, the level 5. Get some filament to go with it as well because everybody needs filament. I mean, I can relate to this simulator because I do have a couple myself. I've got a resin one and I've got a extrusion one, which is these ones in game. And interestingly enough, got the same brand, the Creality. I think that's how you say it. So this is our workshop room. We have tools, always need tools. Um, you'll find them everywhere in the real world. You put one down, they vanish, and then they'll just turn up weeks later in a random place. This is our packing place. On the other desk, what we were just at, that was the painting. And everything we just bought has arrived in boxes at the door. I do like the view. I do like the view. So let's get on. We've got our filament at the top. Always need filament. That's all I can say. Stick this over on the desk. So we're getting there. There we go. Okay. What else do we have in the box? What is in the box? That's the bed. Put it over there. So we are actually going to be building the printer from all the you know all the little parts. I mean, you do do that with the Creality printers anyway. I don't know whether or not it's they've paid for them to have the brand in here or not. Probably. Bit of advertising. Got motors. Motherboards. Not motherboard, platform. There we go. When you do get these printed in real life, you do put them together. You have to build all your frame and everything. I mean, my first printer, it, I mean, it works great, but I had problems with the supports on it. As in, there was holes drilled in the wrong places, so we had to get some new ones. Great start. But yes, we have already put the top bar thing in place, can't remember the name, I'm going to flip it over and we're going to put the motherboard in the bottom, like so. We're going to need a screwdriver, I'm going to equip that with E, eventually. Come on, there we go. I'm going to screw it in place, one, two, three, and four. Uh, that needs a wrench, I think it now. Dropped it. Put it on the table. Oh, oh, you're in the table. Would like you on the table, please. There we go. <laughs> Interesting. There we go. Wrench. Gonna put that in place. I mean, in in the real world, you would not do it on the floor upside down. It, it's as simple as that. But you know, it works for this. So you know, it's fine. It's all good. Put the plate on the bottom. There we go. Got more screws to screw it in. That's the screwdriver. Click to twist. 
like so. Try and move that out of the way just slightly. Turn it over. Put you on the table. Put the rotor in place somewhere. Where are you? Now I'll put the platform on. Z motor. You go there. Put the spool on. Or attempt to. Now this bit makes the bar go up and down. And we need to screw everything back in place with the hex. Oh, dropped it. Dropped it again. There we go. <laughs> Anyways, put it on the bench. Oh, turn it round. There we go. We do need the spool. This is one thing. It doesn't let you put the spool on if it's on the table, only on the floor. Which I don't understand, but we do need to screw the uh, spool holder in. That's my fault. Dropped it again. There we go. Try again. There we go. So now that is ready for our first print job. Head off to the office and we'll go pick one up off the computer. Ooh, yeah, another blueprint. Awesome. Let's have a check over here. Hold on. That is a rubbish bin. Any bits that need replacing, throw the old bits in there. That's the entire room. More blueprints around the bin. Okay, I think that's it. We're going to get a new job. That's our printer. It's all set up. It says that's your maintenance kind of levels. All 100% currently because we've not used it. We're going to make... Let's have a look. Let's go for a high value one. 50, 47, 54. We'll have the hippo figure and they don't want it painted. Select the printer. And if we go back, it should be printing. The axis arm is moving. And there we go, it's starting to print. Awesome. And it does look like a little hippo. I mean, in the real world, you'll be like leveling this, the, the bed, what the hippo head is on. You know, you have to make it sure it's very, very flat, otherwise, it goes weird. And there's lots of different maintenance things involved, but you know, it. It does the job. It does do the job in game. It does take a few minutes to complete and certain ones do take, you know, longer or shorter amount of times to complete. As they do in the real world, I guess. We're just going to keep our eye on it. One other thing. Oh, it just finished. Let's sort that out. It wasn't printed this one, so we're going to take it back to the packing box. Drop it in. I always leave them by the door. And if you have a look here, there's a number, the ID number. That is the order number. Very important when your customers are coming to pick up the items because you could have a big pile. You don't want to give the wrong order to the wrong customer. They'd be very unhappy. I mean, who wouldn't be, quite frankly? So go find another one. Um, we'll do a queen model, and it is painted, this one. Get $46. See, the um, values have reduced, but it's all in OK bounds because the printer has been used. It's got wear and tear. You don't have to replace these as often in the real world, but in the simulator, I have found you do have to replace your parts very often. Maybe in future, they could tweak it slightly so it's not as frequent because it is very frequent you need to replace parts i mean this is even on the level five one i'm gonna paint it over here now it's done the queen oh, the man is here for his box 
going to put that in there. Hello, sir. Ending 820. No, 280 even. I'm bad with numbers. But this box, we're going to leave here as well with the Queen's head. The Queen's head? I'm thinking of the Queen's nose. There was a show called The Queen's Nose, and I thought the Queen's head. Meh, meh, meh. Shows my old, shows my old age even. There we go. I'm wittering. Let's get another job in. Have a look down here. Yeah, that one, a butterfly for an educational program. Um, £50, it's solid. That one's completed in the past. And you see, these values are going down as the wear and tear is increasing. Durability, that's the word. It's got all the temperatures as well, which is cool. But yep, printer is off and going. Might need some more plastic in the future. Um, probably need some more parts to replace. You know how the durability goes down? Probably buy some parts in just to have them on hand when we need to replace them. One of them, one of them. So we've got a rotor, an X motor, and whatever that other one was. The Z motor. Don't need the frame. Yeah, so it's the X motor, the rotor, and the rotor, I think I said. He needs his box. There we go. The customer. No, the product has been sent to the customer. There we go. Maybe it's the courier collecting it. I'm not sure if it's customer or the courier. So we're just going to bring over our parts, our spare parts. We're going to paint the butterfly, get that ready. Put it in the box. And leave it there. Just easier. We've got our boxes with all our spare parts, which will need replacing in the future. Just leave it on the side so we've got them to hand. It would be cool if we could put those parts in the, the drawers. There's a lot of drawers and we can't use them. That'd be very nice to have. Like maybe a motor drawer, a rotor drawer. A spool wall, I guess, maybe. I'm going to do this one, the ant. For sixty dollars, I'm gonna set that off to create. Select the printer, and off we go. So it will be printing. But yeah, that is. This is literally essentially three D print simulator. I know it's not called three D print simulator. It is. Let me just get the name back up again. The full name. 3D Print Master. There we go. And, uh, I mean, the description on Steam says the ultimate 3D printing simulator and management game. Dive into the world of 3D print technology where you'll build, customize, and manage your very own 3D printing workshop. Do we do that? Yes, we do. I mean, we can build 3D printers. Get rid of that. We can build 3D printers. We can print things. We can get orders in. We can maintain stuff. You can paint stuff, we can pack stuff, we can give it to the courier or customer, whichever they are. Does it offer that? Yeah. I think that's fine. They, they do have a longer description, which is 3D Print Master. Offers a realistic and in-depth, sim speak English, offers a realistic and in-depth simulation of the exciting world of 3D printing. Start by assembling your first 3D printer from various parts using tools like wrenches, hexagons and screws. As you progress, you'll have the opportunity to upgrade your printers, buy better materials and take on the more challenging orders. Manage your workshop effectively to maximise profits and grow your business. Does it do that? Yes. I mean, I'm in the sandbox mode and you can do it. There is a career mode where you have a smaller amount of money and you know you start off smaller with the lower end 3D printers and it works great there's no issues also says assemble and upgrade buy printer parts assemble printers and upgrade them to create a powerful and efficient 3D printing workshop realistic assembly 
realistic ex I can't even speak today. Realistic assembly experience. Use tools like wrenches, hexagons and screws to put together your 3D printers, ensuring a hands-on and engaging gameplay experience. Again, it does that. So if anyone says it doesn't do what the description says, incorrect, you know. I'm just gonna say that. So it does exactly as promised. It is a simulator, it's a 3D print simulator. I have no issues with it. Really don't. So here we are, we are just upgrading our 3D printer because the wear and tear did degrade it very, very quickly. And that's what I mentioned before. I think it should be longer, as in it should be a little bit more durable because realistically you won't be replacing a motor after three or four prints. You won't be doing that in the real world. I mean, I've had my 3D printer since I think close to two years now. I've never replaced that. Doesn't need it. It's absolutely fine. And it is actually the same brand as what is shown in the game here. So, you know, a little bit of tweaking. Or maybe it's an option where you could have a slider in the future to either turn off um, wear and tear or make it even longer, like a personal option kind of thing. I don't know, just an idea. So we're going to find another one to print. And yeah, this is literally the game gameplay reboot. Yeah, bleh, 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 bleh. English. This is literally the gameplay review of the 3D print. I keep saying 3D print simulator and it really isn't. 3D print master, there we are. And I do hope you do like my review. I do like it. It does exactly what it says it does. And it's quite fun to do. It gives you a taste into the real world of 3D printing. But I don't have people turn up at my doorstep to pick up parcels. That's the only difference. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm going to leave you watching this again. I like it. I really do like it. It does exactly what it says. I apologise for, like, stuttering, get my tongue turned round in my mouth too many times and you can't understand me. I do that sometimes. But I like to keep it real. It is what it is. I like the game. Check it out if you can. And happy trails out there.